Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Welcome if you're new here. So today we're going to be talking a bit about abandoned places that you can visit in Ontario. This is going to be the new series, places we can visit all over Ontario. Um, and then we're going to do each province in Canada, and then we're going to the States, and then we're going to go beyond the States. And so it's going to be a mini series, but you're going to get other stories in between as well. Um, what else was I going to say? Go check out my crafting channel. I just posted a bunch of new ones that are coming out. And now I'm going to do a this or that channel plus have that on TikTok because that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. So number one is the White Otter Castle. It's in Tur Turtle River, Ontario. Again, I'm blindly reading these because I am not even sure um, what they are. So this one is White Otter Castle in Turtle River, Ontario. So White Otter Castle is a log house standing three stories tall near the small town of Ignace, Ontario. It was built from the scratch by a man named James McCout as a dowry for the woman has he has as a dowry for the woman he has to marry. He never ended up meeting his future wife, however, and ended up dying alone. Legend has it that he drowned in White Otter Lake in 1918 while fishing and was buried in the ground beside his house. Visitors claim to have experienced weird coincidences and an eerie presence within the walls of the house, and you can book tours of the castle. Next one is St. Thomas Psychiatric Hospital in St. Thomas, Ontario. It opened in 1939 and served over 1,700 patients. The institution was abandoned in the summer of 2013 and a new mental health facility was developed soon after to replace it. In the meantime, the facility was active. It housed a few notorious patients who committed violent deeds, including impaling, strangling, bludgeoning, and torturing other patients or co-workers. People claim to have heard random sounds, banging, crying, and whispering, and seen flickering lights and moving object, objects during their visit. Today, there is a heightened security at the site, but it may be possible to have a short wander around the grounds where the old hospital once stood during the daylight hours. Abandoned buildings, for that reason, especially psychiatric hospitals, are really interesting um i find that those are the creepiest ones to visit but i wonder how you get permission there must be like um still manager of the buildings to of course still manage everything and um i feel like like you really can't do anything about the buildings so you just got to keep keep it maintained the best you can next one is ottawa jail hostel i heard of this one this one sounds really cool obviously in ottawa ontario it's a hostel Formerly known as the Carleton County Gail, the jail is m most known for being the site where Patrick Wellen, a politician murderer, was executed by hanging. There are tales of Wellen's spirit haunting the halls of the hostel, as well as the eerie sounds of a man whispering, the Our Father, if you are brave enough, you can actually spend the night in one of the jail cells check it check out exploring the obscures. Visit to the Ottawa Jail Hostel here and you can also book a cell in and then it'll just take you to the link to book a cell i think that would be too much for me i, I would personally would, would like to have a guard there or something <laughs> just to feel safer unless you could have like two people like like your spouse or whoever you're going with to spend the night in one of those cells um that's pretty cool i might do it one day only if i could have one person with me i would not do it alone because I don't know how secure th that building actually is. Um, just before I get before I keep going, I just wanted to uh, mention a trigger warning for any kind of unaliving or if there's anything else like SA or anything like that um, that could anything that could be triggering. And if it's disturbing, please sign off and go to one of my other videos or even a happier channel as well. I'm gonna be doing positive light as well in these video in these chat in this channel, so look out for those ones too. And just yes, yeah, so if it's if something's bugging you about the video, please turn it off and go find a a, a, a video that actually will keep your mind off of whatever it is. So the next one is Altona in Pickering, Ontario. Altona is a ghost town right by the Uxbridge 
Pickering town line named after a small county in Hamburg, Germany. It was eventually abandoned by its former residents after the government rec- requisitioned most of the land in the area to build Pickering Airport. Jerry Denlico, Din- a ghost town explorer, claimed that he experienced a certain uneasiness as he walked through the empty cemetery and church. Interesting. You know, I'm from Ontario and I don't really see or hear a lot about abandoned buildings or stories or historical places, but they're really neat to hear about a ghost town. I, I want to know how it how a city becomes a ghost town. Like, what is it that drives people out of there? So this one here is Ballycroy in Orangeville, Ontario. It was once a thriving town, having hotels, churches, and bars that kept its economy stable for several several years. It was later abandoned by its former inhabitants after a fire burned down by the city's manned buildings in 1875. Although the town isn't known to be haunted, visitors have claimed that the area gives off a very cold and eerie vibe. Today, it may now be the home to a very small handful of individuals and may even on the verge of a comeback. Nevertheless, it is a popular site for explorers and history buffs. That'd be kind of cool to see. I want to go to a ghost town. I know where my boyfriend and I were planning a trip potentially to either drive through Ontario or some or go somewhere else. Um, and if we could, that'd be cool to see one of those one of these buildings. Next one is the Meriton Tunnel, St. Catharines. The tunnel is also famously referred to as the Blue Ghost Tunnel. It was the site of several deaths. 107 workers were killed during its construction, and many automobile-related casualty also occurred at the tunnel passerbys noted a distinct blue mist the echoes of crying children and pushing sensations near the tunnel there were also stories that the tunnel made some people feel physically ill or nauseous as of today the tunnel might be sealed off but whether it is or not it will still be visible from the outside wow yeah winded easily these days i have some bad asthma going on i think but yeah several deaths I want to know why they hear crying children though. Where did where does that come in? Like, like was there a story there? Maybe I'll look into that. That'd be cool. Next is the Alma College, Saint Thomas, Ontario. It was a private girls' school. I talked about this in one of my shorts, so go check out one of my shorts. It closed in 1988 due to an unresolved teacher strike. The school was actually the place where horror movie such as Silent Hill and Orphan were shot. Legend has it that the ghost of a cruel music teacher named Angela, who died of starvation, haunted the ivory tower in the south end of the building in 2008. Alma College was actually burned down, so, so in, sorry, in 2008, the Alma College was actually burned down, so the most you could potentially see during a visit today is in the school ruin, is the school in ruins. That'd be kind of cool to visit. So that one was in one of my shorts if you wanted to go check that out. This one here is Century Manor Insane Asylum, Hamilton. There seemed to be a lot more insane asylums back then. Like, it seemed like people didn't want to come forward with their mental health issues because they didn't want to be put in these situations. I'm sure it wasn't fun. And honestly, I'm glad there's no such thing as them anymore. Like, they're, like they're just obsolete. So, Century Manor was once a treatment center for alcoholism and a facility for forensic psych- psychiatry research. The abandoned facility is believed to be home to ghost nurses who would trick, who would play tricks with one's mind by setting up illu- illusory doors, illusory doors, and ghostly scenes. The main building was eventually demolished, but the tunnels in the ground beneath still remain the same at one point. There were even rumors that the asylum was being considered for repurposing into a student. Wait, into a... Into a student dorm, yeah. I was like, wait, there was a word after that. But yeah, that's interesting. Um, Considered, wow. So I would not stay there. If they could d- demolish it, put a couple of blessings in there, then maybe, <laughs> maybe... That's crazy though. Um, you know what's funny actually? Out of these, all out of all of these, there was only one insane asylum, but there are so many all over the world. You know, abandoned houses are also interesting too, and I'm probably gonna talk about that because abandoned houses 
like what happened to the families why did they leave why did they leave everything behind i was always curious about that like did someone hold them hostage like what happened and you know i would love to if i could get some of those stories too that'd be awesome so yeah i would love to be tagged in some of these stories or even facts that you would like to hear more of because i love sharing facts i love i love talking to people i love talking to you guys you know and I just want to build a really great community here. So let's get to it. You guys keep smiling, keep shining, and we'll chat soon. See you guys. Um, I'm going to, so again, my experiment is to do one for every day for 30 days to see how this these videos go. So anyways, see you guys later. Bye now.